hey guys welcome to tech surgeon yc once again so today in this video we're going to be doing the real world comparison between the new grog ai announced by elon musk at this time yesterday and ChatGPT running on gpt3 so i have sourced for some pictures on twitter and uh, technically i checked out some questions that people have posed to grog and we're going to be asking the same questions on the normal chat gpt i'm not going to be using chat gpt4 for the video i'm going to be using the normal gpt3 that a lot of people use and i already made a video showing you guys how you can use the grok ai without x premium so if you want to know how to use that then make sure you just hit up my video right there so now we're going to be opening chat gpt and you can see this is the normal chat gpt ui and then i'm going to be going to my desktop i already have picture or uh, folder right here where I have put up all the questions we're going to be asking GPT-3. Okay, it's running GPT-3.5. So we're going to be asking chat GPT running GPT-3.5. All the questions that have been given to Grok AI. So now I'm going to be opening the first question right now. And it's a very simple question that says, hey, how are you? Then uh, the Grok AI replied with, I'm doing quite well. Thank you for asking. Just getting used to this new form of existence. How can I assist you today? So we're going to be asking the same thing to chat GPT right now. Hey, how are you? I can see the answer right there. It says, hello, I'm just a computer program, so I don't have feelings, but I'm here to help you with any questions or tasks you have. How can I assist you today? So now, uh, we just began, but then we can see a very clear difference between using Grok AI and the normal chat GPT. You can see Grok AI kind of, it takes the question like a human and it behaves like a human, and then still ended the question with, how can I assist you? kind of showing that okay it's still an ai but it's still trying to converse like an human but then chat gpt just goes directly to being talking about how it's a computer program it has no feelings and you cannot answer the simple question hey how are you so now let's check out our second question right now second question is a very simple question so it just says nothing like it's just a simple phrase nothing and you can see grog here kind of elaborate on the phrase saying add ah, nothing it's a fascinating concept, isn't it? I find it quite intriguing that humans can spend so much time thinking about nothing. So now we're going to be asking ChatGPT the same thing, just the phrase, nothing. Now you can see ChatGPT, you just kind of interpret it as you're done asking the questions. It says, no problem. If you ever ask, have questions or need assistance in the future, don't hesitate to reach out. Have a great day. And you can see the difference here. Uh, when you ask this, when you ask the Grok AI, about nothing it talked about the word itself so technically it can even elaborate just phrases now we're going to be checking out our third question and then these questions get more complex as we are going forward so now our third question says cool cool that's another phrase so it kind of elaborates on this again and says indeed cool cool is a fascinating phrase often used to express agreement or acknowledgement it's a curious way to convey a sense of understanding without actually saying much at all now we can kind of deduce what ChatGPT is going to talk is going to say about this i feel like you know as usual it's not going to elaborate on the topic it's just going to go directly to being the bot that it is so you can see right there great if you ever need information or assistance in the future feel free to ask and have a wonderful day so ChatGPT still thinks you're done asking its questions and it does not elaborate on the phrase itself so now i'm going to be checking the first question which is more technical it says or not very technical but it says what is 21 times 2 now our grog ai answers the answer is 42 which is correct but it's still elaborated saying isn't that a curious number it seems to be the answer to the ultimate question of life the universe and everything but what is the ultimate question you ask well that's a whole different story so that's a very simple question what is 21 times 2 but grog ai still elaborates on things so we're going to be asking charge the same question what is 21 times 2 simple just says 42 like there is nothing more to it not talking about oh we're answering the question of life or anything like that just go straight to the point saying what is 21 times 2 is 42 and now why do you care oh i care because i'm programmed to be helpful and i find that a little humor and perspective can make any task more enjoyable plus who doesn't want to have a laugh while learning the meaning of life the universe and everything so now we're going to be asking chat gpt the same question why do you care it's probably going to talk about feelings it says i don't have feelings or care about anything 
I'm here to provide information and assistance to the best of my abilities based on the questions and tasks you ask. So, ChatGPT behaves exclusively like a bot, and Grok AI also behaves like a bot, but it adds some human factor into it. And I feel like when it comes to making conversations, the Grok AI is going to surpass ChatGPT by a very, very wide margin because it adds elements of humanity despite it knows it's an AI. So now we're going to be asking the last question on our list. I'm just going to cancel that. Okay, it's not the last. It is the second to the last question on our list. So it says, when was Elon's last interview with Joe Rogan? Now, this was tweeted out by Elon Musk and I actually did not want to put this on my questions tab because GPT 3.5 does not have any current information. So for this question, we're going to be using bad AI. Now you can see right now, uh, it's also the question as Elon Musk's last interview with Joe Rogan was on October 31st, 2023. In the interview, they discussed topics such as the Tesla Cybertruck, Musk ownership of X. The Grok AI knows about this because it picks up um conversations and it picks up events even from x itself so now i'm going to be asking this if he has this to charge gpt you're going to get an answer like it does not have access to current information and stuff like that so that's why i brought out bad ai so i'm just going to be opening that right now and since bad ai has access to current information let's see the answer it's going to give So you can see right there, Elon Musk's last interview with Joe Rogan was on October 31st and the interview was released on X. Now, you can also see a clear difference between Grok AI here and even Bad AI. Now, while um, Bad AI just answered the question directly talking about when the interview took place, you can see that Grok AI right here talked about when it took place and also elaborated talking about the topics that were discussed without actually going deep into the topic but it's providing a general broad idea of when Elon's last interview with Joe Rogan was done and then you can see right here what was Rogan wearing during his interview with Elon Musk on October 31st, 2023 elaborating about dates again Joe Rogan donned a blonde wig and a Puerto Rico baseball jesse this was likely done in a humorous manner as he's known for his casual attire and laid back personality during his podcast episodes now we're going to be asking that to bad ai and uh, let's see what we are going to get so now it says it was wearing a blonde wig and a puerto rican uh, baseball jesse so actually this is very very correct and it's even elaborated more than the grok ai now the grok ai just talked about this attire can be found as humor but here uh, it elaborated about talking about how Rogan is known for his unique style and it talked about some of the clothes he has worn in the past. So now looking at this, you can kind of see the difference between ChatGPT, Bad AI and the new Grok AI. Talking about, oh, ChatGPT 3.5 is outdated and it does not have access to current information. Our Grok AI goes very deeply into the point with some human features and Bad AI has access to current information, but it still just talks like an AI, but it goes more deeply than GPT 3.5. So now let's check out the last question on our list. And that says, any news about SBF? Now, this is just a simple abbreviation, but then Grok AI knew they were talking about Sam Fried, the former cryptocurrency move and he talked about how he was found guilty on counts of fraud trial and then you know added some jokes you can see this right here added some jokes about the situation and all that so we're going to be asking the same thing to touch gpt and then we know what we're going to be getting since it does not have current information so you can see right there it does not have access to real-time information and all that so we're going to be going to bad ai and we're going to be dropping the same question so you can see right there it's kind of impressive that bad ai can also deduce the fact that Current news talking about the abbreviation SBF is going to be current news talking about Sam Bankman Fried. I can see right here it kind of elaborates on the topic, but it does not do the same thing as Grok AI adding human um personalities like you know joking about the situation and all that. So it just goes directly to the point, talking about the news and what's going on with Sam bankman fried so guys that's all for this video i hope the video was very entertaining so if you want to see more videos like this i'm going to be doing another comparison video uh this time i'm going to be doing it amongst a lot of ai i'm going to be combining a lot of ai together and then we're going to be asking them 
um in comparison with the grok ai so if you want to see more videos like this make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you also tap on the bell icon so that you get notifications to know when a new video is uploaded on this channel thank you guys for watching and i'm going to catch you guys in the next video